Hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! So glad to have you here. I see quite a few in the chat. Right off the bat, enter the raffle. It is a 200 junk buck raffle, which means you'll get 200 junk bucks added to your account. And you're probably going, well, what are junk bucks? <laughs> well, junk bucks are a virtual currency that you earn while you're here watching. When you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you get a $10 off coupon when you redeem it by typing award. Thank y'all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. If you're watching this as a replay, know that you can go just below. If you're on a computer, click on the gear and you can change the speed. iPad, go up there in the corner, look for the three dots, and then change change playback speed. Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you have a question, put it in all caps, and I'll do my best to answer it. If I don't see it, please ask again, because sometimes the chat moves really fast. Robin is my official note taker, and she's fabulous at doing that for me. And she will try to let me know things that you may be asking questions about that I can answer after the stream. But Whatever it may be, she can help with that. Uh, if you have a question that has to do with your order or getting things from my shop, please go to my website and use the contact form there to ask a question because it gets lost in all of this and I hate to miss something from you. What else? Um, I see a couple of you said, I think Carol said she got her journal. So yay. I'm so glad you got it. And Sherry got her subscription box. Yay. I'm so glad, glad, glad. Um, hey to everybody that's here. I'll, I can't really go through the whole list, but it looks like uh, Karen, Jennifer, Tiger Lily, Nancy, Sherry, Carrie, Robin, Valerie. And let's go Carol again. And Karen. And who else is here? Kristen. Hey, Kristen. So glad to have you here. Mary. Welcome. Welcome, Mary. So glad to have you here. Nancy. Let's see. Did I get everybody? I think so for now. Michelle. So glad to have you here. All righty. Let me move this out of the way. Um, the next subscription box. I know we hardly even got the Peacock Christmas out the door, but I do still have Peacock Christmas left. If you missed out on that, you can still get it. If you want to send it to someone as a gift, it may not get there for Christmas, but it would get there by the end of the year if you want to order one. I still have the Christmas Peacock left. The next kit. Oh, good, Michelle. I'm glad you got it. And Robin got her kit. Woohoo! Oh, thank you, Carrie, for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, the next kit will be all about Robins, and it was inspiration. Thank you, Mary Jones, by Robin Finnessy, who is my admin in the uh, Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. She's also my moderator here. She's been helping me with my business, and she kind of hinted that, you know, we need a spring kit and something with Robins in it. And I said, well, let's just make a kit all about Robins. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a joke, but I thought it would work pretty good. So we've got a kit that has lots of birds and butterflies and flowers and whatnot. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to create. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. I love the pages. The kits are going to be bigger. They're going to have more pages that are different patterns in the kit. You'll also get a digital version of the printed materials when you subscribe. And then those that only want the digital downloads, that will also be available come the new year. I do have one journal today to give away in the uh, raffle at the end for those that have been donating. I greatly appreciate your donations. And as a thank you, you get a discount in my shop, those of you that make a donation. And you also get free digital downloads that I offer in my shop. I have a bunch and I'll be adding some more over the weekend. And what else? Um, and because you donated today, you get a chance to win this journal that I made. Thank you, Cynthia, for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. And Robin blushes. <laughs> Robin is, is my, my right-hand woman. I'm so glad to have her. I'm so glad you got the kit, Robin. I hope you enjoyed all the goodies I sent to you. Um, I don't get to pay Robin cash, but I try to pay her in product. I ask her what she wants, and then sometimes I throw in a few extra things. And I think I forgot to put something in there she requested, and it wasn't until after I sent it that I realized. <laughs> so she can ask again. Thank you, Ada. Hey, welcome, Ada. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, 
I had a few items left over from working with the Winter Bliss kit and I ended up printing, this is the, what I call the subscription box item and I printed it in a couple of pages and then I used some of the leftover bits, like this is a gel print here. I had um, some little fussy cut items. I had some stickers. There's another gel print. I made a little um, cluster here and it is multiple layers. We've got a pocket here with the gel print on it. I've got a dictionary page in the background, a white piece of cardstock. This is a postcard from Calico Collage that I reduced in size. This is a domino image from Calico Collage. And then this is my new chipboard snowflakes that I have in my shop. I painted it white and then I sprayed it with a Tattered Angels that had a gold shimmer in it. Thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. No, it is not too late. If you well, hopefully we'll get here by next Thursday. Thursday of next week is when I plan to do the drawing. Um, you'll still get two hundred junk bucks whenever you send it. So even if you send it, it doesn't arrive till after I do the drawing. I will give you two hundred junk bucks for sending an ornament. Um, but I will have a drawing on the 26th. I'll put everybody's name in a little bucket or hat or whatnot. I gotta, I gotta go back and write all the names down in one spot. I've got them. They're just all over the place. <laughs> so I gotta go back to when I first started and get them all in one place so I can print them and then cut them apart. Uh, so yes, you can still send an ornament and I'll show the tree really fast. <laughs> Yeah, it needs to be here by the 25th. Um, so anyhow, I did uh, do some mixed media pieces that I added in here. I used some stencils. So this is the journal that I'm giving away today. Oh, and I used the strips. The strips that, um, let me show y'all one. So when I trim down a gel print, I trim it so that it's straight. It has a nice straight edge. Um, you don't have to, but that's what I do. And I decided to use those strips. So there's a strip here and a different strip down there. And then I had this washi tape that I used. Oh, thank you, James, for your donation. And that name is new to me. You, so you may be using someone else's account. But if you donate, make sure you go to my website and create a user account. And then send me a message on my website saying, Hey, I'm James Sneed on, you, on uh, YouTube. And I donated. And I'll get you added to the YouTube donator membership that gets you the free digital downloads and a discount in my shop. Um, so, oh, it didn't stick. I guess I'm going to have to put different glue on there. Where's the best glue ever? Thank you, Karen, for your donation. I am looking for $35 in donations today for the journal that I'm offering. Um, I'll tell you what, if we get more than that today, I will also have, let's say if we get to $65, if y'all want a Christmas peacock kit, that's what I will send to the winners. I'll have two winners, so $35 gets you just the journal and if we get $65 I'll throw in a Christmas peacock kit that will raffle off at the end okay get around to it Kristen get around to it <laughs> have you ever seen those it's a little round coin and it says this is a round to it and it says round to it <laughs> all right so I'm just I glue this down but sometimes when you put stuff on top of washi tape because it's kind of got a coating on it uh, especially this one that's silver and um, sometimes regular Aline's tacky glue doesn't stick so I'm just putting a little bit of the best glue ever there and this will go back in here I'm trying to make sure that there's not any glue I'll leave this open so this is the journal that I will have at the end I even did these I put these little the little postcards in the pocket here. I thought they would be kind of cute. Use a piece of sheet music there for the corner. Let's do it, Jennifer says. <laughs> well, good. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's a quick, 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 quick flip through. Woohoo! Hello, Julie. Welcome. Alrighty. So I am. Uh, I just put some paint on my gel plates because they had some crusty bits on there, and I just kind of threw some color on, playing around to kind of clean it. That's been sitting on here for a little while, so. It's 
kind of interesting, you know, getting the little crusty bits. This is the first ones I did uh, with some different colors while I was getting prepped for y'all. Let's move this one. Oh, I guess I didn't get this one pressed down. So I'll have to deal with the messiness here and there. Yes, that is the Winter Bliss kit, Karen. And now you can get the digital download for what was in the subscription box. The images that were in the subscription box are now available as a digital download. Uh, thank you, Cynthia. She says, if you're watching, give us a thumbs up. Thank you, Julie. All right, Jennifer says, done. I've got the thumbs up. All right, so today I'm going to do some gel printing, kind of planning ahead for in the new year i'm going to be making the all about robins i've also going to be making in a couple of days i hope to get it done tomorrow uh, in january we're going to have daily creative prompts that robin wrote i've there's a couple i need to edit for her but <laughs> Um, she wrote all of them and then what my goal is I will do them daily uh, I may pre-record some of them so because I've got some busy time coming up but I will be sharing those whether they be tutorials or at least they'll be a photograph and a little bit of a description about what I did on some days just to help kind of give you all some prompts to um, creating in your journals creating journals, creating elements for your journals, etc. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Oh, I hope you feel better. Yay, Kristen. <laughs> All right. So I've got, um, I've got the January stencil club out here. So I think I'm going to do a couple of shades of blue first, and then let's do some colors that will go with the, um, all about robin's kits i should get some yellow out maybe we'll do some yellow i'm gonna put this where i can see it uh what do i want to do oh i know what i can do this i'm trying to get this where i can kind of see it but yet it's not in the way all right that way i kind of gives me an inspiration by looking at the color you have one of these so you can print all right so basically with gel printing you can use acrylic paints I've got uh, Anita's because it's inexpensive I usually get it when it's on sale uh, another that I get is master's touch whenever it goes on sale at Hobby Lobby uh, sometimes if you mix these two paints together they resist a little bit so you do want to try to keep with either crafters grade or oddest grade oh thank you diana thank you for your donation i couldn't i couldn't remember if you wanted your name said diana so some people have an incognito youtube name and i don't even know you know do they want to be told that oh thank you merry christmas shirley welcome so glad to have you here um, so let's see. Jelly print thing. I understood what you meant, Ada. I understood. <laughs> um, what to do? What to do? Okay, I I am in love with the uh, November stencil club. And for those of you that are new, I create my own stencils. This is a hand drawn design that I made. And I love being able to do that. So today, I'm going to show y'all the November Stencil Club, the January Stencil Club, and then some other stencils from my shop. So let's see here. Let's, let's see what we want to do. I think, let's do some just kind of crazy stuff. I'm going to put down this stencil. In fact, I'm going to put it down where it's kind of going over both. At the same time, I'm going to add a little bit of color and then we're going to move it around and do some more colors on there. So we said we've got a little bit of a blue on here. Let's grab this teal. I think that'll be good. And I'm going to brayer that on. And I'm not really worried about if all of the design is there, if it's messy. I'm just going to brayer it down and kind of add a little bit to each of these gel plates. 
I'll grab another stencil here in just a moment. Let's do this. All right, so I'm just going to throw this one in my bucket of water I have over here to the side. I'm going to clean off my brayer by just rubbing it across a uh, sheet of paper that I have here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab, I've got this stencil, so I'm going to kind of go across the bottom right here. And let's do it in a shade of blue. Thank you, Mary, for your donation. Thank you so much. So let's do... Kind of adding a little bit here and there. Okay. And let's see what else do we have here. I got a little space right there. So let's grab um, let's grab the circle stencil. And we'll do a different color. Thank you so much, Robin, for your donation. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Go right here. So I'm just kind of playing around. Um, yeah, it's going to pick up some of the paint every time I set the stencil down, but I'm okay with that. I'm just, I'm playing at the moment, you know? So we're going to have different layers in here. All right, I'm going to let that set for just a moment. And the reason being is when you're gel printing, you're layering paint onto this surface that kind of resists it. And if you try to go back on top of it to lift it up too soon, it either will be partially dry, you'll only get part of it, or it could be too wet and just mush around. So you let it dry for a little bit, and then you can apply another layer of paint on the back side of this and then pick up all of it at once. Hey Sam, I'm so glad that you could get here just even for a little bit. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody? Did y'all have a great week? I've been busy. Um, been to the gym, getting strong. You see my, you see my muscles? See my muscles in there? Can you see that? They're growing. <laughs> I did some deadlifting yesterday. Today, I, we have a rowing machine at our gym, and I did seven and a half minutes, and I did 1,500 meters. Yesterday, I did the Stairmaster, and I did 46 floors in 10 minutes. So I'm trying to build up my stamina so I can do more and have more energy. So make sure y'all are moving. Even if it's just take a walk around, you know, the interior of your house or around the block or to the park or something like that. Get a, get a, get a move on. Well, I'm sorry you had a tough week, Julie. I hope it gets better. Uh, you know, with this Christmas season, there's a lot of people that get super stressed and worried about buying gifts for everybody. Um, I don't give gifts anymore. I don't think it's worth the headache. Now, I may tip some uh, somebody that gives me a service, or I may make a little something for someone special, but I decided, you know what? Um, we, we don't need to stress over this. I would rather you be my friend and we hang out and have coffee than to stress about a gift. So we won't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that you lost your friend, Julie. Um, well, well, you know, we'll be praying for you. I just found out yesterday that on, well, yesterday was Wednesday, right? So I guess on Tuesday night, one of Henry's cousins was killed in an automobile accident. So it was kind of sad. So I understand it's, it's, it's fun. It's not that fun <laughs> to lose someone. All right. So this is almost dry down here. It's a little bit wet because I put too much paint down. So when I go to put paint on top of that, it will kind of mush around. Um, let's see what color we use this teal. We use this blue. I use this, um, kind of a hyathan color. I think what I will do is go back with Island Blue, and that should make this a really fun page. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Yeah, Ada. I mean, just, hey, let's get together for coffee. That's not, let's not stress about gifts, okay? Let's hang out and just have fun. And so, for our Christmas, I told my mother-in-law and father-in-law, I said, we don't need anything. Y'all don't need anything. There's not going to be any gifts. <laughs> Now, I understand if you have little ones, the little ones like to have their, their gifts, but they don't have to be extravagant. I loved it when my mom, she would do little things and she would put them 
in the Christmas tree and we'd have to go on Christmas morning and dig around in the branches of the tree looking for little gifts that my mom would put together. Sometimes it was, you know, something like my brother's got like a Hot Wheel car and when I was really young, I got Barbie doll clothes or once I got older, I was really, I still am, into music. So she bought, back then, uh, cassette tapes for me. And so I would find a cassette tape that I would wear out over the next month or so. Hello, Christy. So glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So much prettier in person. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm just rubbing this down. I'm going to add some of the same paint over here, and then we'll lift it, and we'll see how it goes. It's just a fun way to do some really colorful pages if you don't have access to gel, uh, to scrapbook paper, but you do have access to acrylic paint and random bits of paper and a gel plate. This is a great way to do that. If you don't have a gel plate, some of the techniques that I'm doing here, you can do on a, what I call direct to paper as well. Yeah, you like that idea, Valerie? It was a lot of fun. I, I miss her because she always, you know, had clever things. She uh, also for Easter, well, let's back up. So we would have Christmas and then, of course, Valentine's was next. So mom would make us little Valentine gifts. And sometimes it was like a basket. It would have candy and a little card from her. And she would hide it in the house. And so we'd have to go around the house and look behind the curtains and behind the sofa and find the uh, basket that mom did for Valentine's. And she did it again for Easter. So it was a lot of fun. You like the bits of colors? Yeah. Yes, you're welcome. Do it, Ada. You know what? There's no reason for everybody to stress over gifts when we don't need half of the stuff anyway. And it would just be better if we just got together and in fellowship. What do you think? So this was the circle stencil down here. That's the little arrows that's half the half sheet from the November Stencil Club. That's another one from the November Stencil Club up there. You like it? Okay. All right, the goal for the journal raffle has been met. Whoop, whoop. You can use any paper, Ada. This is a page out of a dictionary. You can use your junk mail, Ada. Um, you can use copy paper, cheap copy paper. Oh, I was going to show you all the Christmas tree behind me. Sorry. Squirrel. All right. There's the Christmas tree. You like it? <laughs> you like that? Isn't that pretty? I like how it turned out. We should, let's do a couple more. The only bad thing is, is I have to always wash my stencils, I feel, in my opinion anyway. So... If I want to use the same stencil, I've got to get it out of the water bath. So let's just do that real fast. So I'm just kind of loosely washing it off. I got another towel here. And I'm only drying it with a, a old kitchen towels. I need to buy some new kitchen towels and then my old kitchen towels can come in the craft room. <laughs> I like using the kitchen towels because uh, it's inexpensive and you don't have as much waste. Uh, you know, when you're doing paper towels, you have a lot of waste. And sometimes the paper has a tendency to rip and tear and leave fibers everywhere. But I use these 100% cotton dish towels and that seems to work. Ooh, it's getting full! Thank you, Christy. See your journal message. You have a journal message. Okay, okay. Robin's going to let me know. Okay, perfect. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, got a boss fight started. Y'all do earn junk bucks um, for playing the in-chat games. You also earn junk bucks for making donations. So not only just for being here, but the extra stuff 
as well. All right, I think I got all the stencils out of the water. So I'm just gonna put my towels back down. Actually, I'm gonna try to hang them so that when I'm ready to use them again, they're not sopping wet. <laughs> I hang them, I've got little drawers uh, underneath my cabinet right here on this side. Uh, they're a little, kind of like an iris cart, some people would say. And uh, it's really handy to put stuff in. Okay, so we kind of did some mixed media printing. I think we should do some more of those. All right, what color? Let's start with this one again. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to lay this half sheet stencil over here, and then we'll do some of the color. Oh, yeah, you, yellow. I need some yellow. Let me grab some. Yellow. I'm almost out of some of my yellows. Buttercream. I'm grabbing a bunch of them because some of these are kind of empty, but I got different shades of yellow here. So let's set these over here. So let's do a little bit. Let's do this kind of a, what is this one? Mustard. No, my computer wants to do an update and wants to reboot. <laughs> I said no. All right, got to shake it. All right, we got some yellow now. So I'm going to put some yellow on here. All right, and then I'm just going to lift it, and then let's add like that. Just adding a little pattern. All right, so we got some yellow. All right, what color next? Let's do this green. I've got this, it's kind of a citrus green. All right, shaking it up. Da, 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 da. I've got this stencil. I think what I'm going to do is kind of lay it up here. I'm trying not to lay it on this other paint because it's still kind of wet. What are your favorite Christmas movies if you watch them? Maybe you don't watch Christmas movies, but what, what do you enjoy watching during the Christmas season? You know, I kind of just go with all the cheesy romance ones. Um, but I like The Grinch and uh, White Christmas and Charlie Brown Christmases and, you know, all of those. Those are a lot of fun. All right, so Robin's reminding me it's time to do the raffle. So if you haven't already, join the raffle. All right. The claymation movies, the little Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah, those are cute. Those older uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, the uh, baby, was it Happy New Year or, or New, New Year Baby? I don't remember what that one's called. Um, it's kind of fun, too. All right, let's go right here. So we've got a yellow, a green. So let's do this kind of a light turquoise. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll kind of put that in here. Oh, I got a little heavy handed, so there's a lot of paint on there. <laughs> But that's okay. All right, so we've got that. And I think we need to put one more design over here in the corner. So let's do the circle stencil again. And we'll put it right here. And what color? Let's do that same green because we've got the green and we've got the yellows up here. So we're just going to do a little bit of that green.
All right. There we go. Look at that. All right. I'm letting this dry for a moment as we do the raffle. Prancer, White Christmas, It's a Wonderful Life, and the Hallmark movies. Yep, yep. The Hallmark movies. Those are kind of fun. Um, Sam, if you're trying to tag me in a project that you've done, you can post it uh, in By Linda Israel or the Friendly Junk Journal people, and you can tag me there. Okay. All right. We're going to let that dry. Let's do the 200 junk buck raffle. And that first winner is, are you ready? Mary Jones, you have won 200 junk bucks. Congratulations. <laughs> All righty. So let's see here. Oh, well, this is mixed media Thursday. So let's do a mixed media little mini journal. I have one left. So, this was using a business envelope that was sealed shut, and I decorated it with bits of paper. I put a napkin on here. You're very welcome. And then I did some tattered angels and some rubber stamping. I even put some tulip dimensional glitter paint on there. The inside pages are a mix. Some of them are some of my printed gel prints, mop-up papers. There's a real gel print in here. And another gel print there, another mop-up page. So that will be our next prize. So we're going to reset this, and y'all can enter to win many um, mixed media journal. And we'll do that. Open giveaway. All right. Yeah, make sure your chat is on live chat, everyone. I believe, uh, I can't remember, but on the computer, I think there's a button somewhere that you can say live. Yeah. Okay. So, I've added those colors in. We've let them dry while we talked about what the next prize is going to be. I kind of think that maybe I can get away with doing this teal. I think the teal is going to blend really well. So that's what I'm going to use to lift this off of the pad. And again, it's a different color than this one. So this one is called Light Turquoise and this one's called Island Blue. Okay. Woo! That's a lot of paint. I think I'll have more than plenty. All right, let's kind of smooth that out. Let's grab a book page, get that laid down. All right, and then I see if I can spread this. Let's see if we can get all of that paint thinned out. So whatever paint you put on the last will be the paint that you see in the background. And whatever paint you put on first is going to be what you see in the foreground. And I know that may sound weird, but you'll see when I go to lift it. All right, let me get a piece of paper. All right. Looks like we're doing the boss fight. I'm petting my gel pad, my gel plate. <laughs> didn't know that your craft supplies have to be petted, did you? I have friends that love to quilt. I do too, but I, I have specific friends that love to quilt. And they said, I went into my quilt closet of fabric and I petted it today so that it knows it's loved. Okay, sit. Robin's got to step away for a moment so y'all behave. Okay, what do you think? It's got some neat texture to it. I think putting that teal behind it, even with that yellow, makes it a cool effect. And even though that, you know, this can get kind of messy, I like the variation in there. Okay. 
Let's see how this one turned out. All righty. Like, hey, Sonia, welcome. No, what are you saying? No. <laughs> yes, yes, love it. All right, so here's what it looks like on that bigger gel plate. So we use the green, we use the green here, use the lighter teal, the yellow. It's kind of cool. And it, the color is just not as vivid on camera. Of course, my television isn't the greatest in the world that I'm using for display, but I like it. They, they're kind of fun. All right, so we got those two. Let's, let's kind of, I need to clean this plate up probably before I move on on color, but I think we'll be all right. Let's do the, uh, let's do the January Stencil Club. I've been looking forward to using this. So they're hearts. Uh, there are four different heart designs between three stencil designs. And that's available now and will ship out January the 15th. All right, so let's see here. I've got, I've kind of got a hot pink. So let's do a little bit of this pink here. I'm trying not to put too much. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this other shape. Come on now, it's sticking. Oh, thank you, Sam, for your donation. All right, let's put some right here. And let's put a little up here. All right, then we'll put this in the water. Draw my hands. All right, I got that shade of pink. Now I've got a little bit darker shade of pink. So I'm gonna get the next heart stencil out. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna lay this, I'm gonna lay it in the corner and then I've got a different stencil we'll put down here. Have I ever used, I've used other items, not necessarily a feather. I've used cutouts. Um, for example, I made some snowflakes and used those to make a gel print last year with that. I've also used, um, I've got a new label stencil in my shop and I use something like that as a mask to make a pattern. I've also used rubber stamps and I've used uh, paper shapes cut out. This is gonna be cool. My wallet found some quarters left in the bottom. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think I'm gonna use the same pink and we're gonna do this stencil and I'm going to put it I want this pattern here to show all right yeah Ooh, I like it all right and then we're just kind of do it off the page over here Shades of pink. All right, I'll let that dry for a moment. That's in the uh, January Stencil Club. January Artistic Stencil Club. So this is heart tile. This is heart lattice. This is called stacked hearts. And this is sunny hearts. Because it's got the sun in the middle and then the heart goes around. 
that's the January stencil club. So that's the default. If you go to my shop right now and pick out that stencil club, you'll get that set. If you want a different set, you just have to say in the comment before you check out, hey, Linda, I know I'm signing up today, but I want the, and then just say whatever month it is that you want. I had a lot of requests to make hearts. And so I sat down and designed a few heart stencils. I've even got a few more that I'll be adding to the shop as new stencils. I've got to get them. Um, it's a it's a process. I have to design it, create it, have to import the image into a piece of software to make it a cut file, and then we have to cut it. So <laughs> I'm in that. I got to do the import. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a lighter pink. This is called, it says vivid pink, but it's really pale pink. And I'm going to put some of that on here. So we're going to get different shades of pink. We'll see how this turns out. I think you might like it. I don't know. Maybe. Y'all are kind of picky. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Robin. You love hearts so much, Jennifer. They're fun. They're kind of universal, in my opinion. You can use them in so many different things. They don't have to be pink. I just wanted to play with pink today. <laughs> All right, we're going to put a little bit over here. Putting it in the pink. Pretty in pink. Okay. Let's do a book page. I need a book page. Alright, let's see how this turned out. I got a little bit of paint on the back side. That's okay. Oh, I'll have to show y'all my, uh, let me get my camera ready. We'll do the sewing cam alert. And uh, I'll show you my leggings. You didn't like pink until you watched me using it in gel print, Sam. It's your favorite color. Thank you, Valerie. What do you think? How's that look? So this is the stacked hearts over here. This is the heart tile. This is the heart lattice. You see like the little heart right there. And then this is the sunny heart. Robin is happy today. It's pink today. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Lori, for your donation. Thank you so very much. And Sam and Christy and Robin and Mary and Diana and Michelle and Karen and James and Jennifer and Ada and Cynthia and Sherry and Mary and Carrie Barbara. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing, isn't it? You like it? Thank you. Thank you so much. So this one had some crusty bits on it. So we get a little different effect. But I like it. There's the stacked hearts up there. There's the heart tile. Here's the sunny. And then here's the lattice. Yeah, they're sewing cam alert, but no sewing. So let me see if I can get this. Okay, let me get my leg up here. All right, y'all ready? Sewing cam. Hopefully I don't break anything. Do you see my britches? They have doggies. Do you see my britches? I have leggings that have little puppy dogs. <laughs> Maybe if I turn the camera this way so you can see them. <laughs> Legging cam alert. <laughs> we're, we're having fun shopping. Oops. Y'all went for a ride. Let me change this back. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. All right. So we did that one. Switch, switch it up. Mm 
I don't like the way those turned out. I think I need a little bit of some yellow today. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some yellow. And I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to coat the whole thing in yellow. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Got some crusty bits on there. But that's okay. I'm going to put down woven boxes on top of here. And we're going to lift that yellow. And it's a bright yellow. But it's going to be sunny and fun, right? Look at cams. <laughs> Aren't they fun? <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. <sighs> I had to get them. They had puppy dogs on them. All right, so we're going to pick this. So we've got some crusty bits around the edges. But we can spray this with Tattered Angels, and that'll change that color a little bit as well. I'm trying to make sure my gel prints aren't sticking together. I'm going to go ahead and put some yellow over here, too, and we'll pick a different stencil pattern. Okay. I think I had some crusty bits in that yellow paint. I think because it's old. I think I'll grab a rubber stamp. And I'm just going to remove some of that pattern. This is the Romantic Swirl. And what I've got is water over here. So I'm just going to dip it in that water. So I've got it wet. And I've got a towel that I use here. And you want to make sure you clean off your stamp quickly. Otherwise, it'll get crusty on there and it won't come off. All right, so I've let that set for just a moment. I did a shade of yellow. What do I want to do with it? It's kind of a light yellow. Let's do this green. Put a little green on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rolling it out. Okay. This should have an interesting look because it's kind of a melon green is what I would call this. I mean, I know the real color. They call it citrus, but I don't think this is citrus as much as like honeydew melon. That's what I see. You'd love a kitty, but you're allergic. I'm allergic to cats. I didn't know that I was allergic to cats. Well, I had a cat for 20 years. <laughs> when she died, that's when I found out that I had a cat allergy. It is a happy color. And a, a kitty leggings alert, Robin? Well, I didn't find any, so... And I have a dog. I have two dogs. <laughs> oh... Okay. Come on now. I'm coating that. I think this one, because I'm not doing two layers, like another stencil design, I can grab a piece of paper and pick this up. This one I'll have to let dry for a moment, and then I can add another layer of paint. <laughs> All right. Oh, Carrie, that's awesome. Carrie says she adopted a uh, one-year-old kitty, and he is the best friend in the world. Oh, awesome. Christy says, I'm allergic to their fur. I understand. I think I'm allergic. I, is it their cat dander, maybe? Oh, uh, this one didn't, it didn't come out as good as I thought it would. It's kind of just a yellow-green blob. <laughs> 
and I don't know how this one's going to turn out because the colors may be too close together. So we're going to put ivory paint on the back of here, and that should help both of those colors stand out just a little bit. Okay. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Is there any other um, things you want me to make on the gel plate today? Or do you want me to go ahead and get into making some kind of journal page on the fly? I can do that sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's lay this over here. Let's pick this up. Okay. Yeah, cat, people are usually to their cat dander, yeah. I understand, Christy. Well, we had a cat because in our old home we live behind a schoolyard and every time they would mow the schoolyard the mice would come into the house that's kind of neat I, I don't know if you can see it um, and i got very annoyed with trying to set traps so we ended up getting a little kitty cat from a friend and taught her how to catch mice <laughs> All right, you probably can't see it, but there's a little bit of a resist going on here. I'm going to try to mop up some of that tattered angel. Oh, I like it. It's real subtle. I don't know if y'all can see the pattern, but it's real subtle on there. And it would make a great journal page because it ob obscures the text behind and you'll be able to write on top of that. Uh, the book page was a page that I painted with ivory paint, and then I just lifted it. Make some things with gel prints. <laughs> Robin just says, I vote yes. Oh, making journal page and stuff. I vote yes. Okay, gotcha. Journal page, journal page. Okay, well, let me finish this uh, gel print here. So let me add... I have ivory. Let's do a little bit of yellow since the other one didn't come out the way I wanted. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Don't have enough. I was trying to be conservative. I think I need to get some new yellow paint because it's beating up. Must be old. All right, that'll be cool. Okay. Okay. Somebody get some good junk books. <laughs> All right. So now let's go here. Now this, with the combination that I use, reminds me of citrus. But that green on its own does not speak to be citrus to me. Can you see that? I'm trying to tilt it. So it's kind of got a, a ombre effect with the green. And then there's some little crusty bits that were left from the pink, which is fine. It's kind of cool. It's refreshing looking. Alrighty, we're getting a, a good little pile here of variety. Let's see if this one is ready. I'm going to put my gel plate up. <laughs> Move the paint back. Alright, what color? I think we put ivory down. Let's go ahead back with ivory again. Right. 
You had you had a young have a young cat and she is bad. Will climb and jump on everything, Janice. You just gotta work with them, distract them from what they're doing, teach them a different habit. One of my friends said that her new kitten was uh, jumping on curtains or quilts that she has hanging on the wall and landing in the middle of it, and then because of the weight of the cat, is pulling it down. So she's not been real happy with little kitty. <laughs> little stinker keeps pulling her stuff down. You'd think that after it falls on him a couple of times, he'd quit. Okay, we're going to clip this one up. And then I'm going to get some older gel prints because I think y'all want me to scan those, don't you? I think you might want me to scan these in and... We don't want to wait. Um, Lori, I think you have to um, get out of the full screen mode or where the chat is to give a thumbs up on a phone. You can always give it after. And remember, y'all, whenever you leave a YouTube video that you enjoyed, if it's someone you're subscribed to, Go to a different video, not by the person you follow. You know, kind of like when the screen pops up and there's all nine videos for you to choose from. Click on any one of those and then leave YouTube because YouTube sees that, oh, well, you watched Linda's video and when you were done, you just left YouTube and YouTube wants you to keep watching. So they won't promote me to you because... Everybody watches Linda's video and then leaves YouTube. <laughs> so anybody that you enjoy, don't leave YouTube right after watching their video. Go watch somebody else. And by the way, I will. I'll scan them. Oh, you threw your gel plate away, Jennifer. Aw. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Yes, I'm going to scan in the gel prints. Yes, I will do that. Okay, I'm gonna clean my hands off, swipe the table, clean my brayer. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. I've got a whole, I've got a whole thing full of prints and whatnot. So. Looks kind of interesting. Oh, I like that one. That's an old gel print that I made a long time ago. There's a purple, a couple of purples. This one's got uh, some turquoise and purple. What else? Well, maybe we'll do something with that. All right. So I just kind of grabbed a few gel prints, different shades, different patterns. I think what I want to do is figure out what I want my substrate to be for my journal page. Um, you know, some people ask me, how to use them, what about the other side of it. I usually glue it to another piece of paper um, only because I like the heft or the feel of being able to add those together. Um, I think these might be good for like border pieces. So I'm gonna take my cutter and kind of cut these really fast. I think I like this one. So I'm gonna glue these onto Mom, well, let's get a let's get a Bible page out, and we'll make some patterns and sh and kind of strips with this. Leave that there. Let's see what else I can grab. I think I have some uh, copy paper I could use as well. Okay, got those. 
And I'll save these. We may do something with them today even. I'm going to kind of think about that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So I'm deliberately making sure I cut a little extra off so that I get some of it. And then I've got these. Hey, Angelica! Angelica's in the house! Alright, so we're just going to make a, I don't know, some journal pages, maybe some journal cards, and uh, I've got a raffle going right now. Depending on how long this takes, we may, uh, it's 1.30 now, we probably will end somewhere around uh, 2, 2.15. So if you have questions, feel free to ask. All righty, I'll enter the raffle. Move this over here. And I'm gonna grab my dick, my Bible. Throw things in the floor. Germany right now but I would think it wouldn't be very pleasant all right let's do the next raffle all right so the winner right now is going to win this so J Jennifer is asking me a question I'm gonna thank you so much Kristen I'll answer it just as, I, as soon as I get back remind me <laughs> all right let's do the giveaway Angelica, <laughs> you won the mixed media little journal, Angelica. You just showed up. Perfect timing. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so then, <laughs> yeah, it's cold out there, I bet. All right, so I'm going to reset this. All right, and this is going to be a um, Christmas uh paper pack and more <laughs> I don't know we're gonna we're giving it a weird name all right so I had I think this was a couple years ago someone sent me a whole bunch of Christmas items and thank you Carrie Barbara and I know that I'm not going to use them all so I'm passing them along so this is some embossed paper it's gold and it's got some texture on there and then here is a red and gold here's one some santas this looks like washi paper it's got that feel of washi paper and oh i love this gold they're gorgeous but i'm i'm a hoarder and so i wasn't using it i thought i'm just gonna pass these along there's these little notepads there's a bunch of pages of those there's a bunch of pages of this and then i happen to find these little beads so you can use them in your shaker cards or you can string them and add them to your tassels. Um, I thought y'all would have fun with that. So, And I just grabbed used little uh, baggies to put everything in. <laughs> so that's our raffle right now. Alrighty. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much. Congrats to yourself, Angelica. All right, so I kind of got some purplies and whatnot here. I've got a Bible page that I want to alter. I think I want to look for, let me look for some washi tape too to go with it. I'm sure we can find something in there. And what else? Oh, I know. 
Let's get um I've got one of these little notepads look so we can have some writing space, okay? And uh I've got my, my fussy cut pieces out. So I've I kind of got a little plan here. I think. Ooh, that might look good. I've got a little purple. Got that floral. Okay. Let's kind of play with this. All right. So I've got these pieces, and I think I want to be able. Thank you, Christy, to get um, more than one piece out of this that I can use. So I'm just kind of playing around with how I want to do this if I want to have like little strips. So if I did this right, I should be able to take one of these pages and fold it in half. Okay, now if I put this on here and I put this on here. Let's measure that, and then I can figure out if I can get enough to do both sides of that page. So this little piece here is about three and a half inches. Do I want a border? I could put washi tape in there. Um, this space here is about an inch and mm, three quarters of an inch or inch and a half. So let's see how long that is, and if I can just put it where I cut it into four pieces, then I've got enough that I can put it on both sides of this page. So I've got, looks like I've got roughly six and three quarters of an inch. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and if I fold that in half and I fold this in half again and make little creases, that should be enough to fill that gap. So, I'm not even really going to measure it. I'm just going to go where the crease is. And then that gives me that little piece. So you get a lot of bang for your buck out of a gel print. If you just take a moment to cut it up, then you can actually use it in more places. All right, so I've got that. So what do I want to put down here? Now I've got... I've got a couple more of these gel prints. Maybe what I'll do is cut them into long strips and then let's find a little something we can put down here. We could also make a pocket. Let's do that. I think that's what we can do. Let's see here. That'll work. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, th <laughs> thank you, Angelica. <laughs> na 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 na. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. So if I put this down here, it kind of covers up this X area. How big is this? It's roughly three and a half inches. Some people like a deep pocket. Some people don't. I think three and a half will be fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these. And it is a little over four inches. So I know that if I cut one inch strips, I can put this on here. And I can spray that piece with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Now, so Jennifer asked me, um, you know, basically, how do I come up with my ideas? Do I ever get, um, you know, where, hey, what do I do? I'm stuck. Well, yeah, you know, I have those creative moments where it's like, I, I don't know what to do. You know, and I'll tell my husband, it's like, well, I'm, I'm forcing myself to create for example, a journal for y'all so I can have it to give away. And sometimes it uh, causes me headache because I'm, I'm trying to come up with something different that I haven't done over and over and over and over. Um, 
Oh, no, Sandra, I did not because that was a design that I didn't own. Um, it was not my stencil, so no, I did not scan. I did not scan this piece. I need to make my own stencil like that. So, yeah, you know, sometimes I do uh, lose my mojo and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, what can I do? What, what can I, you know, do, get out of this, you know, and, and move forward? And I usually end up um, either cleaning in my room until something inspires me. I will go to YouTube uh, or I'll go to Pinterest and look at things. Sometimes I'll even pick up uh, magazines and look at things. So, you know, just kind of pick your color, your, your ideas, and uh, pick a, a product that you have used or, you know, something like that. Yeah, I it was a beautiful page. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm using the, it's a purple, it's called So Rockin', and it was from my uh, So Artsy digital download that I offer in my shop i still have um that sewing subscription box i don't think i put it as a individual product yet so that might be something i'll do this weekend i will be adding all of the um what i call the creative box and subscription boxes this is what it looks like when you mop up that's the retro panel stencil uh to the shop so that if you want to get what was in the subscription box or the physical printed box, I'll have those available. I hope this weekend get them all done. Okay, I think I'm liking it. You're welcome, Jennifer. You know, don't let it get you down. Sometimes I just walk away from it for a while. Um, there was a last couple weekends ago i was in here trying to oh i was trying to record all of the 12 days of christmas 12 days of junk journal ideas and i was i i needed to get to it i had been prepping and i was just not feeling it i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do Ugh, i'm trying to figure this out and my neighbor knocked on the door as i was recording <laughs> and henry answered the door because the dogs are going crazy and uh I finally turned off the recording because the dogs were still barking. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. And I went out there and started talking to them. And I invited them to dinner because <laughs> they had been busy all day. And I told Henry, I'm going to do this recording and then we'll go eat dinner. And uh, they showed up. And I said, well, let, let's just all go to dinner if y'all haven't eaten. And it was fun. We went out to a, a steakhouse that Henry and I have never been to. We don't go out to steakhouses very often because they're expensive. But we called this our company Christmas party. <laughs> and went to the steakhouse. And it was fun. We, we even had some time before our, we could go eat because the restaurant was so busy. So we ended up going over to um, a little store. There's a little strip mall that was walking distance from the restaurant because we had 30 minutes to wait. And the inside of the restroom, restaurant waiting area was crowded and you couldn't find a place to sit. So we walked over to, um, I think it's called Marshall's. Um, it's, it's just a store full of all kinds of junk. <laughs> it's got everything in there. They, they had some really ugly Christmas sweaters. They had, you know, gift sets and you could get pots and pans. And I mean, there was just all kinds of stuff that they were offering. And we just kind of wandered around and would laugh at stuff whenever we saw it. And then we went to dinner and uh, we really enjoyed just their company and stories and the food was amazing. And I just decided not to film that day. I came back the next day and after a good night's sleep and I was able to put that video together and do the next one and the next one. <laughs> so yeah, I get, I get moments. <laughs> a lot of, you know, what I do is go ahead 
and do the thing that I have done a hundred times in order to get my creative process to relax a little and then be like, oh, I know what I can do. I can add this and it starts to come together. Okay. You know, um, I haven't said this today. If you have a YouTube channel and y'all want to support each other, go ahead and just say, I have a YouTube channel. And if you look beside their name, there's three little dots that you can click on and you can follow each other and share your works with each other. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as the Bible to Israel. You can share there. Marshall's a great store, Jennifer. It was it was interesting. I had never been into it. Um, so it was like, wow, they got everything. <laughs> oh, I didn't get these. I was doing all of those at one time. And I just realized I hadn't done these pieces. Okay. I need three of these. One, two, and three. Because I think I'm going to do some rubber stamping on here. We've made pockets, or that's what I'm in the process of doing. So I'm going to use some of these scraps that we have over here to the side. Um, I see a couple more little scraps here that I want to use. And we'll make some journal cards to go into the pockets. Hey, Michelle! So glad to have you here. Welcome. I will be live on Monday. Um, the Eve of Christmas Eve. I do not plan to make a journal during the live. Instead, I'm going to do like I am right now, making journal pages. I do have a journal that I've set aside that I will raffle off if we have the want to do that on Monday. Or I can do a kit. It's kind of, I'll give you all the, cho the choice. Uh, when we get to uh, live on Monday. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that. All right. So we're going to put this here. We're going to put this here at the bottom. And I got out that washi tape. What I might do, I wasn't sure which one I might. I think I'm going to stamp on that. And I think I want to stamp on this piece. I don't know how well it'll show up on that dark purple, but let's let's work on that. So I'm setting this aside for a second. I'm going to get out my rubber stamps. And I want this one. And I think I want... Oh, I like this one. I think I'm going to use this one today. Will it fit on here? Barely. It'll fit. Clean the stamp. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, I'm just grabbing a piece of paper to use. So, I think what I want to do is I'm going to stamp the iron gate across this page with just some archival ink. Oh, thank you, Carrie Barber, for your donation. You're so sweet. Thank you. You'll do your, your napping after the live video, Robin. <laughs> hmm. I don't hardly take naps anymore. I, I don't have time. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that there. We have this across here, so let's stamp this. And sometimes I stamp one just to see how it's going to turn out. I think that would look cute. All right, so you see how it's coming together here? I stamped on those pieces. So I'm using, that was the iron, I can't, I keep thinking, I call it an iron gate, but you put iron in, you'll get it. And then this was shabby stitches. 
And then I've got the textured edge. I really like this stamp. It's one of my favorites. I use it a lot, I know. But I just love this distressed look and the pretty pattern that it adds to the page. Okay, so that will go there. So what do you think? You think that's a good design right there? Bright colors. We can swap these if you prefer so that your writing space is out on the edge instead of in the center next to the spine. In fact, that's probably what I'll do. So let's go ahead and stamp these pieces in the same fashion. So it'll be kind of assembly line, you know. It's okay, in my opinion, because I'm the boss of my journal, to repeat something. And it's also okay that if you didn't have the same amount of papers that I did here, to grab whatever and make each pocket completely different. Make each little notepad completely different. All right, you love it? Thank you. Oh, wow. The goals for both the journal and the subscription bo box have both been met. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I'm eating a chocolate-covered almond. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'm just stamping the little iron. I didn't get up as high on that one, but that's okay. I like the way it looks. It's really cool. I could stamp around this one, but I just like the way it looks as it is. So I'm not going to stamp all the way around. All right, let's stamp this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll grab some card stock and we'll cut some journal cards because I have a ton of card stock that I need to use up. <laughs> we're stamping away. You're having meatloaf for dinner? I think we're having, um, because this is what we have a lot, homemade taco meat and I make it into a salad. So it's a taco salad, but I do not have the tortilla uh, shell involved. Okay. Get this out of the way. We can assemble. That's kind of like why I like doing this kind of stuff. Uh, the way I just did was because I can do a whole page relatively quick All right. yes we need comfort food I haven't had um, ho uh, meatloaf in a while maybe that's something Henry and I were trying to decide food wise what we could do and we've been doing it with you know the taco meat because we'll add black beans and we add you know onions and poblano pepper and bell pepper and then we make homemade pico to go with it. Um, it's really filling because we add the beans and and I put it on lettuce. Henry likes to eat it on tortillas or on chips. I guess I could do a meatloaf and add a lot more vegetables to it. I like it. All right, so this is going to go like that. Okay, and I haven't even dug into my fussy cut items. Yeah, I could mix turkey into it. That's a good idea, Robin. That's another way to get the turkey. That's good. I do not know about how, what you can use to thin art glitter glue. Uh, Sandra, you may need to Google that or ask in one of the Facebook groups because I don't use art glitter glue. 
It may just be time to get a new bottle. I know with the Lean's Tacky Glue, yes, I can add water to it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and line it up at the top because the pocket kind of covers at the bottom. So I'm just getting it inside that fold and then we'll put this right here and it almost covers it. It's close enough, I think. Google it. Yeah, mixed turkey. I'll just tell Henry that. We'll do that. Oh, I hope you have fun, Michelle. Gel printing. Have a great time. You know, this is where you can get one of my uh, very little water, Bonnie says. Um have fun, you know, gel printing and, you know, put on one of my, my videos, my older videos that gel print videos and you can start it and then pause it. If you have, you know, kind of need to do it for a moment. I like it. All right. We'll put this one over here. All right. Oh, the award. The award is, oh, where'd it go? Here it is. To get your award, I think I owe somebody a coupon code. I've tried to get everybody, but I think I forgot. I just realized, I think I just forgot somebody. Okay, exclamation point award. All right. I'm going to glue this one over here. And then I'll dig around in my fussy cut box, maybe, after we get this page put together. I may wait. I may go ahead and do some journal cards first with the scraps we have. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Bonnie, for helping Sandra out there. Okay. My watch is going off. Okay. I wasn't sure why it was. Why is my watch going off? I thought I had it silenced. I did have it silent. It was just telling me I was doing a good job moving my hands. <laughs> oh, it didn't work, Sherry? Okay. Maybe I need to update it. I may, I know that I'm giving out the same coupon code to a couple of you, and it could be that I've got a limit set that I need to change or give you a new code. All right, I'm going to do this same procedure on a different page instead of doing it on the back side because I think I want to put something different on this side. I'm, I'm contemplating that, so I want it to be where you know you flip the page, but you don't see it until you get further into the journal. If that makes any sense. So I'm gonna set this aside and repeat it over here, like so. Oh, I need to fold this. You like the lavender? It's a, a those little tear off notepads. I need to see if I can buy a case of them because I really like them. <laughs> all right, so let's glue this all together. Yeah, my paper curled a little bit because of the tattered angels, and I just rub it over the edge of the desk, and that gets it usually to flatten out. All right. Oh, gotcha, Michelle. Yeah, turkey has uh, tryptophan in it. And it does make you sleepy for some people. So get, eat it late at night so it makes you sleep before you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I think the glue is too thick. Yeah, it may just need just a tiny, tiny amount of water. You have to be careful when adding water to glue. I, uh, what I'll do with my Aline's Tacky Glue, because it does get thick every once in a while, is I have a, a bottle here that when I'm, my big bottles are low, I add water and I put it in here. And you can probably hear this shake because it has that much water in it. So I will put just a couple of drops into this bottle as I refill it and then shake it and then it's not as thick. I know, complicated, I know. <laughs> Mary, did you get your coupon code figured out? Oh yeah, congratulations Mary, you got a coupon. Good job. All right, I don't want to put the pocket down first. I got to put down this piece first. <laughs> this way, I'll end up with two pages and I could, in theory, use them both in the same journal. I can split them up and make two separate journals. You're welcome, Mary. All right, so now I gotta get, send you the coupon code. <laughs> so you can buy something. What are you gonna get? Do you know? Do you know what you're gonna get? What's your favorite uh, product from my shop, y'all? I'd love to hear. That you use or have used up. You do the same, Sam? Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to add this on here. So now we've pretty much given two designs here. Two pages that we've started. And I've got um, some more of these gel prints here, so I can grab those and do the other side. Let's do that. We'll do something different on the other side. Okay. You like the stamps? Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Stamps. Stam and the lace. Oh, thank you, Lori. Enter the raffle. If you haven't done so, enter the raffle. Okay, so now we've got this side. And I had this gel print. I have this one. I'm trying to say, you want everything in my shop? <laughs> the Tattered Angels is your favorite. Oh, I've got this one. All right, so if I'm going to use any or all of these, how would I use them on the other side that it kind of matches, but it's a little different? I think what I'm going to do is I've got these notepads. A couple of these pages are wrinkled, but that's okay. One, two, three, four. So let's see what this looks like if we use the gel prints on this notepad. And maybe this time I will use the washi tape. All right, so if I've got these notepads in here, and I know that these strips are long enough, I can cut strips out of these to put on here. And I think that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to see which one I like the best. And I think we can do it with this one. 
And we're going to spray these pages as well. We'll pick a different stencil. Thank you, Kathy. Catherine, thank you so much for your donation. All right, so I'll set this over here. Let's spray these first so we get that done. All right, so we need to do the raffle. If y'all haven't done that, join the raffle. Love the st shabby stitches. Yeah. Stamps and the bindings needles. You just, you love my stencils. Thank you. Thank you so much. We bought the postage stamp by the B. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, it was perfect. Isn't it awesome? All right, so I'm going to lay these in here. And see, what I like to do is I made this page. So this page and this page can go together when I'm making the journal. And so, because I'm doing that, we're going to use the same color scheme that we used on the other side. And we're using that retro panel stencil again. It ties it together. I'll go ahead and mop this up. Now, I could use the notebook paper if I want that look instead of mopping up with another piece of paper and then you get two different looks from the same spray so we got the mop up paper here and then that's going to be my journal page okay yes so I'm getting ready to do the last free raffle right now and then I'm going to start the raffle for the journal and the Christmas Peacock subscription box. You don't have to continue the subscription. You'll just get this month for free. So I'm spraying this and then we'll do that raffle. Only those who have donated will be eligible for the last raffle. So if you want a chance to win the Christmas Peacock subscription box or the journal just make a donation any dollar amount all right I just wanted to get those sprayed before I stop to do the last raffle so that's gonna go on there and I think we may use some washi tape this time I don't know I'm playing gonna play with it all right and I may change my mind about that. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. You're back, Ada. Yay. Did you get in the raffle? Get in the raffle. I'm about to start it. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, so vintage. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for your donation. All right. So we're going to pick the winner of the goodie pack of papers and beads. Are y'all ready for that? Are you ready for this? <laughs> My face already hurts y'all from smiling. <laughs> All right, let's pick a winner, and the winner is Angelica. <laughs> That's awesome, Angelica. She's she was sad the other day because she couldn't get to her craft supplies because they're all packed up. They're working on her apartment, and so she keeps winning little prizes. <laughs> so she has stuff to play with. <laughs> Congrats to yourself, Angelica. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <clears throat> and I'm so thankful for all Angelica does, too. That's amazing. Yay! All right, so we're going to reset. <laughs> and if Angelica wins again, um, y'all need to, like, get a lottery ticket. <laughs> uh.
All right, I'm typing this out, JJ, or um, peacock sub box donators. Oh, and L Y. All right, so this is for the donators only. These are the people who have donated so far: Michelle Gilmer, Gilmer uh, Sandra L, Catherine Hawkins, Carrie Barbara, Janice Brammer, Angelica Menzel, Christy, Carrie Barbara, Lori Merchant, Sam Spade, Christy, Christy again, Robin Finnessy, Mary Jones, Tiger Lily, who is Diana, Michelle Lambert, Karen Owens, Michelle uh, James Sneed, Jennifer Smith, Ada Bellaflor, Cynthia Dossett, Sherry Deskins, Mary Jones, and Carrie Barbara. All right, you're very welcome. <laughs> Yep, she's your right hand gal pal. Love her to pieces. Me too. All right, so we're going to open this up. Only those that have donated are eligible. And so if you want a chance to win the journal, I'll show you the journal real fast. This is the little journal. I even put the tulip dimensional glitter paint on the front. And so it's got little pockets and tuck spots. I was having fun with this one, using some of my leftover bits. I put dimensional glitter paint on the some of the pages so they'll sparkle. There's some washi or washi tape around this page on that silver page. I knew you couldn't really write over it very well. I didn't think, so that's why I did this. But I guess you could try to write in there. Sometimes that silver paint resists ink. All right. Good luck to everybody who donated. Set this up here. Okay. Love you more. I think I'm going to change my mind. And I'm going to go to this one. And I think I like the idea of cutting it in smaller strips. Maybe. So, let's look at how wide this is. I can get four strips at one inch and then I can uh, use washi tape. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do some one inch strips and then we'll use some leftover bits here to make some journal cards. So that'll go across like up here and then I'll put some washi tape I think in the other area. Or we'll stamp it. I may stamp it. See, that's, that's the beauty of it. I can change my mind. It's whatever I want to do. <laughs> I had someone that said on my, one of my tutorials, I just love how you just put it together and you don't hem-haw around. I says because I already made three of them. <laughs> Wait, I'm not supposed to tell you all my secrets, am I? If, if Robin says, if I win, you're going to do a redraw. Okay, Robin. Well, then don't enter the raffle, silly. <laughs> uh, oh. Or you have to designate who's going to win. All right. So I think, I think I like this purple on here. And it's going to tie the pages together. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off the excess for each of these pieces. Which will be handy to have it in a pile here. Because I can use those on the journal cards. Especially those pieces. I like those. Okay. All right. So this should go pretty quickly. I think I think we need some rubber stamping. Yeah. Okay, let's do shabby stitches. Y'all are thinking I'm obsessed with shabby stitches. <clears throat> I think we want to go across here. Yeah. Kind of see that. I 
And I think instead of using the washi tape, I'm going to dig around in the fussy cut bin and see what we can find. See how that's come, that looks so much better? We'll put some Distress Ink around the edge. All right, so let me stamp all of these. Stamp it! We got to stamp it! Yeah, it's your way. That's, that's just it. You have to know that what you're doing is because it brings you joy. And if it's stressing you out, then you need to change your thinking about what you're doing or change what you're doing. You know, you can't let it be so frustrating that you don't enjoy the creative process. And... It's okay to repeat things. It's okay to try new things. It's okay to fail. I sometimes have a gel print that doesn't come out. Or I have a page that I'm thinking, meh, I don't really like it. So I just keep working on it. Or I throw it away. Very rarely do I throw it away. Usually I can fix it by covering it up. <laughs> All right, so now's the time, if you donate him, to get entered in the raffle. I didn't think I would stay on this long today, but I got I got inspired to create it. All right, we got one more stamp around, and then I think uh, we can glue this together with after we do the Distress Ink. And then we're going to make some journal cards really fast, I think. I may have some pre-cut cards. I was going to cut some paper, but I may just use what I've got cut. Okay. This over here. Apply Distress Ink. All right, so thank you, Jennifer. Two hours and 45 minutes left, Angelica. Two hours and 45 minutes left until what? <laughs> All right. What else should I talk about for the next few minutes? Um... I'll be back Monday. I've got a journal set aside. Uh, we may do another kit on Monday's raffle. But what I'm going to do is make some journal pages. I've got a couple of baggies like that one I showed y'all earlier uh, with things in it that are leftover, orphaned, whatever. And so what I want to do is try to make some journal pages so that I can make some uh, random journals or add them to journals as I'm making them. So that's kind of what I plan to do. Ah, oh, then it's your birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Angelica. So it was perfect that she won today. It's going to be Angelica's birthday here in just a little bit because where Angelica is it's late it's like um is it is it almost midnight there Angelica two two and a half hours two hours 45 minutes that'll be midnight so congratulations happy birthday all of that okay I like this I'm gonna smooth that out All right, so we've got our page that folds. So I'm going to put this right in here. And I think that'll be good, right in the center. Now, if you want, you could go around and color the edge. If you don't want that ivory color, i kind of okay with it. Um, it's just another step you could do. If you really like that distressed look, apply the distressed inks around that edge. I'm going to go ahead and push this right up to the top. You could also um, partially glue this down, put another piece of paper behind it so it's thicker, and make it a pocket. 
a side loading, top loading, whatever is your fancy. And what I want you to think about when you watch one of me, my tutorials, you're watching me, that you think about, oh, well, what if I took Linda's idea and did this? Whatever it may be, your little spin on that idea. That's what I like to see. <laughs> okay. You like that purple? Hey, Mala, welcome. That was spraying it with tattered angels. And I'm using the Retro Panel 2 stencil. Oh, I think I just put that on there upside down. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, no, Angelica, thank you so much. Are you able to stay and help? Pretty please, thank you. Oh, no, Robin lost her internet. Well, that sucks. Angelica's having good luck, and Robin's had some bad luck. <laughs> That's not good. She'll be sad that she missed. Okay. I'm going to glue the other one, and then we're going to uh, make some journal cards with the scraps. All right. Oh, that's kind of what you did with the ornament you made, which you finally mailed today. Woohoo, Sherry, I look forward to seeing it. Okay. Yes, I stay here, Angelica says. <laughs> Thank you, Angelica. And I thought I was going to have problems Monday because I kept losing internet. But thankfully, it didn't go out while we were streaming. All right. Y'all got any questions? Let's see here what I got next. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> good, good, good. Robin's back. She wasn't sure how long she might be down, but she's back. Oh, I was sad for you, Robin, because I knew you liked being here. Or you wouldn't come. <laughs> If I win the raffle, Linda is redrawing another name. That's what Robin said. She's made the decision. Okay. So there is one side. I'm trying to put this where y'all can see it. And then here's the other side. So I kind of give you inspiration. All right. I'm going to look here. Oh, I've got these. Okay. I've got some watercolor type paper. I've got some, uh, let's see if that'll fit. Yep, one, two, three, four. That'll be good. Two journal cards per pocket. Y'all be happy with that. Oh, how funny, Robin. <laughs> uh, it's a wonderful life, Catherine. You like that one? Alrighty, so I've got some little pieces here. There's four. So what if we did something like, I've got, uh, I've got this guy. Do I want to put it there or this way? Maybe just a snippet of it so that I can uh, use the little snippets okay all 
I like this one. Okay, I'm going to fold this one. I'm going to trim it off. If I fold that in half and put this piece there. Okay. So I'm contemplating what I want to do here. And what I've decided is I'm going to uh, use these strips from the gel printing. I'm going to use some rubber stamps with them. And I'm going to stamp on that. And that should add some more dimension to my journal card. Okay. And I think if I put this on here like that, I'm going to use this stamp here, which is the postscript collage, like that. Okay. The stress ink. That will go here. And then one of these colorful pieces will go there. Can you see that? And then I'll add some distress ink around the edge. All right, so let me prep all my pieces. Here's my pieces there. This piece, I'm going to take this one and cut it in half. So now I just need to stamp the other journal card. So let me move this over here. Journal card. Rubber stamp. This is a watercolor paper. Um, I've had it in my stash for a while now, so I thought, well, I'll just get it out and try to use it up. It seems to be working. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna use some Distress inks around all the pieces. So let's go ahead and do this one. And if I do this fast enough, I should just be able to glue these together assembly line. <laughs> ah, something fell on the floor. It was my rubber stamp. Blech. All right. Am I missing anything? Oh, no. Oh, hey, Raven. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you feel better, Ada. Okay. I like it. Using the scraps. Do this one. I'm, I'm due for some more of these little pads. I about wore this one out. And I uh, match up all my pads with the color of ink pads that I have. And... Uh, I don't have any spares at the moment, so I gotta make a Hobby Lobby run sometime and get me some new ones. All right, I think now what I'm gonna do is just glue these together. All right, if you donated, now's the time. I think that's, I'm just gonna make this set of journal cards live. I may make some more when I get off here to put in those pages, but I think I'm at a point now that y'all are ready for me to pick the winner. All right, so what do you think? It's kind of flashing out, but 
just using the pieces. I'm glad it's helped distracting you, Ada. Oh, you're trying to get your journals ready, Raven? It's work, 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 girl. Get her done, get her done. Alrighty. I know y'all ready to go. So we'll get this finished. Do the drawing. I'm gonna have a mess here on my desk to clean up, y'all. <laughs> I'll have to look to see what I want to put with these. I really like the whoop, almost did it upside down. Uh, how this looks. The page and now these pay the journal cards. All right. I was going to make more, but I think we're done. I think we're done for now. Move some things out of the way. So then these would go in here. Like that. What do you think? kind of gives some really neat patterns because we've got the borders and we use the white paper down here. What do you think? And then this one will go over here. So I have two journal pages made. You like that? That was snuzz. You snoozed the entire time, Giovanna. <laughs> like my page and I haven't even added any you know focal images I think even just the way it looks is gorgeous done 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 you like it all righty so we're gonna do the last raffle here you like it Angelica thank you <laughs> naps are so great <laughs> thank you you like the lavender colors I like it too. Fun, fun, fun. Love this. Thank you, Christy. See, now I can repeat this a few times. I'm okay with, it would just be different colors, different patterns, but I could repeat this look again. That's what I want to show y'all, that it's okay to do the same concept, just choose different colors, different papers. All right. If you donated... Watch some slip side. Well, good. You like the you love the winter bliss kit. Winter bliss kit, Michelle. Yay! Thank you. Yeah, you can watch it again later. On um, fast forward, you got a good nap time. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. All right. So here's the journal. The first winner that I pick, you need to tell me: Do you want the journal, or do you want the Christmas peacock? subscription box um it'll just be for the one month you don't have to renew it you'll just get this box for free for your donation and you'll also get to uh, get the free digital downloads in my shop as well as a discount on other items that you may want okay y'all ready for this I'm just giving, I'm stalling for a moment. I'm going to eat a chocolate covered almond. I got dark chocolate covered almonds with sea salt. Yes. Dark chocolate sea salt almonds. Give me a little protein and chocolate. <laughs> like a minion, exactly. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? 
All righty. Make sure everybody's got in. And we'll do this journal. All right. Giovanna, did I send you your coupon code? I don't think I did. All right. Let's pick a winner. And the first winner is, and tell me what you want. What you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> do you want the journal or do you want the Christmas Peacock subscription box? The first winner is Cynthia Dossett. Cynthia, you want the Winter Bliss journal or do you want the Christmas Peacock subscription box? You like, you'll eat lots of almonds. I love almonds. Cynthia donated a whole bunch of prizes. I think I have one left. Um, she made little journals and stuff. If y'all didn't know that, um, she made all of these and sent them to me so I could give them away to y'all. Isn't that sweet of her? And these were made by Cynthia. So, so I'm glad she won. I'll take the journal. So Cynthia wants the journal. All right, so the next person... You get the Christmas Peacock subscription box sent to you. And I have Cynthia's address. So she's a customer. She's an admin of the Friendly Junk Journal people. We're friends on Facebook. So I'll go, yay, yay. All right, pick a winner. You're welcome. Kristen, Kristen Hamilton. And I have your address too. You won the subscription box. Now, Kristen, you... If you have already gotten the Christmas Peacock subscription box and you want a different one, just message me on my website and I'll see what we can do for you, okay? Because I can't remember if you already got one or not. I apologize. I don't remember every order. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed today seeing some, uh, I'll recap the gel prints. So we made these gel prints today, this yellow, the blob of green, using the resist kind of technique there. That's a yellow and a green. Here's another pink. I'll skin uh, some of these in that I think are going to make great digitals, especially those pink ones, I think. Maybe these as well. And these were just cleaning off my gel print when I first started. And then I took some uh, gel prints that I already had uh, because I knew we were going to scan those. And I cut them apart and made them into two journal pages. And I used the scraps to make journal cards. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. You love that pink gel print page? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's going to look good, I think. There's that pink one. I was trying to find the little one. There's the other one. <clears throat> I like the way those turned out. Well, see, we can make a journal page with those, and that would look so pretty because it goes together. All right, I'll see you all on Monday. You're very welcome. You love the blue gel prints? Yeah. Yeah, the blues. I like those. Where's the other one? There it is. And I like the way the, the teal and the green one came out as well. Poof. All right, y'all. See you Monday. Have an amazing weekend. Uh, we will have a show on Christmas Eve, the eve of Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, and I hope y'all will come and hang out with me for a little bit. I know y'all are busy. You got the seasonal stuff to do, but definitely come and hang out for just a little bit if you can, just for a laugh. You're welcome, Sandra. Thank you, Karen. 
Thank you, Cynthia, Christy, Jennifer, Sherry, Robin, Angelica, Michelle, Mala, Giovanna, Carrie, Barbara, Janice, uh, Lori, Mary, Diana, Karen, James, Jennifer, Ada, all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you, Ada. You're welcome. Lovely. My favorite, Mala says. Yeah. Yay. Nap time for the Nappers Anonymous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Hugs and kisses. Love you lots. Have an amazing rest of your day. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and can't do in your junk journal. You're the boss. So you get to decide what you do. All right. We'll see you on the flip side. You know, if, if you're watching this as a replay, if you made it this far, thank you for being here. Uh, do leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on what we share today. Yeah, I know it's distracting and fun and whatnot, but hopefully you learned a few things and possibly been inspired. Y'all, thanks so much for watching. As I said, love you lots. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.